So with valve adjustment, two things need to happen. I need to be in between top dead center. I need to be on top dead center of my piston. And it also needs to be between the compression and the power stroke. To do that, um, if I look down my cylinder, into the cylinder through my spark plug hole, I can actually watch the piston move up and down. So I know when I'm close to top dead center. How do I know if I am between top dead center, compression, and power? I just make sure that I turn my valves so that they're pretty loose at the moment. So I'm going to crank them down just so that I know they're going to move when I actually turn the engine over. I don't really care at the moment if I have any, I don't want them tight, but I don't want them loose. So when I turn the engine over now, I should see my valves move. There's my exhaust valve. And then my next one should be my intake valve. And if I go through the four strokes again, think about them. I know that when my, my intake valve opens, my piston's traveling down. I get the bottom dead center. That's my intake stroke. When bottom dead center occurs, and I hit, I'm coming, this is coming back up. This valve should close, which it does. This is my compression stroke right now. Okay, I can look down the hole and find out my top dead center. Where my piston's at top dead center, and that will be my in between power, compression, and power. If I continue, my piston will go down another half revolution, another stroke, which is my power stroke, and then once I hit the bottom dead center again, then the last stroke should occur, which is going to be my, my exhaust valve will now open again, and I'll start the whole process over again. Now I, I should expect my intake valve to open next, and my valve is closing, exhaust valve closes, intake valve opens, and now I have intake stroke, and if I watch down that hole, I'll be coming back up to top dead center. I'm just going to take a quick look. There, I see my piston there now. So now I'm in between top dead center. I'm at top dead center between compression and power. If I want to be sure, on the side of my engine over here, I do have a little arrow. That arrow needs to point right into here. That arrow is here. That is top dead center on between power or compression and power, right there. Now, I can set my valves. These valves. Now, setting my valves needs a couple of things. I have a couple of jam nuts, and they're very tiny, and they have a really, really fine thread on these things, and they're very expensive from Honda. I found this out. So I put these guys on there. That's what's gonna hold my adjustment after I do the adjustment. Like so, <clears throat> what I need to do next is I need a feeler gauge. This is my feeler gauge here. And we use these to make my adjustments, okay? And these all have measurements on them and I'll show you which one we're gonna use and how we're gonna use them. This is my favorite ones with the angle because they're easy to get in into the valve and make your adjustment. I need that. I'm also gonna need two wrenches. I'm gonna need a 14 mil and a 10. Uh, 14 mil is for the actual larger adjusting nut and the 10 is for my jam nut. There is a torque specification for my jam nut. Uh, again, back to a quarter inch drive through, um, torque wrench to torque these guys. And um, that way they won't come loose on you. If you over tighten, they strip very easy. So I'm going to move my camera angle here, see so a better view. Okay, so here is our two valves, one's intake, one's exhaust, and they do have different specifications on them. Uh, again, back on our, our paper we had before, the intake valve um, specification is in a couple spots, actually. Uh, the, there is actually another piece of paper I'll show you real quick here. It comes, I'll see if I can find that as well for you guys. Put that in the link below. It is, it just goes through the different types of, um, you can see here, there's our flywheel or a coil adjustment. And then right here is the actual 
uh, written instructions on how to do the the valve adjustment. Um, so this is what I'm going to use. This is my specifications. And on here, it does say right there, the valve clearance for the two valves. Intake is 0.15, plus or minus 0 0.02 millimeter. And the <clears throat> exhaust is 0.2, plus or minus 0 0.02. So what that means is, is on my feeler gauges, I need to have the gauges with the correct or closest ones. So if I look at what I've got here, I do have one right here. And the that one says, that guy right there, my focus, is 0.152, which is the closest I can get on this set of gauges. And the other one's 0.2, so I'll use that one for um, my intake. And then I have another one here that's point. This one right here, that one, it's hard to read. It says 0 0.203. So those are the two I will use on this for, this, for setting this up. So 0.15 is for my intake. My intake is on the side with the flywheel. It's got the long post for the carburetor. So what I usually do here on, on these ones is you need to put your feeler gauge in here. And what you're looking for is the movement between the valve and the rocker arm right here. So when you slide that in here, you're going to turn your adjuster down until it doesn't move. You should feel drag here. You, if you crank it too tight, it pulls too much. You want to roll it back. And if I pulled it up and down this way, I should feel no movement in there. There's movement. I got to roll it down more until I feel no movement. Still feel a bit of movement, and no movement, and a bit of drag when I pull it out. Okay, that's where I want to be for that one. Now I don't want that to move anymore. If that moves, it moves, it changes my adjustment. It doesn't take much to throw it out, considering it's only 0.15 a millimeter. So I feel some drag there. I'll leave that one there. I want to hold the adjuster without moving it. So don't move it, and I want it to turn down the lock nut. I want to snug it. So I'll snug that lock nut. Then I'm going to torque it after. Okay. So now I should feel that slight movement in between the valve and the rocker arm. On the other one, my exhaust one, it's 0.2, and my closest one is 0.203. It's still within specs. I do the exact same thing. I place it here. I roll down my adjuster so that I, I know there's no there's no play there anymore. That feels a little tight still. Feels a bit of play. Or I mean, sorry, a drag, and still a teeny bit of movement. So I'll go a little more. No movement anymore. But I pull back and forth this way, and a bit of drag. Ideally, I would leave my my feeler gauge in there as I tighten it, but um, with all the cameras and stuff on my way, it's difficult. Don't move my adjuster. Tighten down my jam nut and just snug it up. And again, then we torque it after. So it's snug. Both are snug now. My jam nut torque specification. Again, I need to look in my manual. Um, it's 10 Newton meters. It also says that in that page I showed you earlier. 10 Newton meters is my spec. I'm going to use my quarter drive torque wrench again with a 10 mil socket. If I can find my 10 mil socket. And use it to torque there it is. And what I'll do on that one, same thing. I'll set my torque wrench to 10 
Newton meters. Just give me a second to roll it down here. And I'll still hold that jam nut, or not the jam nut, I'll hold the, the adjuster nut and I'll um, turn the locking nut. Okay, so what I do now, because I don't want that this to move, I hold this guy in place and then I just torque this one until I get my torque. Like so. And then I hold this one. Do the exact same thing. All right. So my valves are adjusted. If I want to see how they feel, I can roll this thing around again. I should have no compression. So it roll pretty smooth and easy. I can see my valves are moving fine. When I get back to that, in between my, there's my exhaust stroke, my intake stroke. So I know now that this should be both valves closed between my compression and power. And I should feel a bit of movement on each valve, which I do, which is, I'm happy with that. I'll leave it there. That's how we adjust our valves on this guy.